Hey everyone, here's the tutorial for integrating Chart Boost with your app. This one is quite simple as well, like uh, like RevMob. As you can see, we've already done, we've added Flurry and RevMob here already. Now we're going to add Chart Boost. So you're going to want to go to the Chart Boost site and download their SDK. Once you have that downloaded and you have your uh, your app set up in their online portal and you have your app ID, you can go to Xcode in your project file. Um, and select add files to your project. Mine is stored, my Chartboost SDK is stored here. You can see the Chartboost iOS SDK. Once you unpack it or uh, um, un, uh, yeah, it'll be zipped, unzip it. Once you unzip it, you'll just select that, copy items into your destinations folder, and select add. You see it pops up here, and let's see that's not a framework, that's just a folder. So what we want to do, we are going to need to add a couple of um, binaries. We're going to need to link a couple of binary uh, or frameworks in order to use Chart Boost. So you're going to select your main folder here, oops, and you're going to go to Build Phases on Link Binary with Libraries if it's um, you can expand it like that if you want to, or I mean, well, you're going to need to. And you're going to go to, you're going to need the Quartz Core Framework, which we do not have that one. But you're going to need the System Configuration, which that one is here already. And we are going to need Core Graphics, which is already in here. So we need to add the first one, which I said was Quartz Core. Go ahead and add that to your project. And you're going to need to weak link the add support and store kit frameworks. So I do not have the add support in here. I'm going to add that one. There it is, add support. Go ahead and add that one. And you also want to add the store kit, which that is not in here as well either. So we'll look that one up. Store kit. Now they want you to weak link uh, these, which means if for backwards compatibility um, in the older iOS um, operating systems on the phones, yeah, unless they're updated to, I believe it's 4.1 or 4.2, um, then if you require, right here, if you require them to have a framework, that was not originally in the iOS of the phone, if they have an older one that they just don't want to update, then your app will crash on the older devices. So the way to get around that is to go um, and weak link it here, switch it to optional. Uh, let's see, we wanted to make that one optional, the store kit and the ad support. So those two will be weak linked. Now what we're going to do is go to See here, I'm going to go ahead and move these three. Whoops, not that one. Move these three into my frameworks folder to kind of keep it organized. And now we're going to expand. Whoops, that's images. We want our folder that has our classes in it. We're going to go to the um, um, app delegate file and we're going to import chart boost. So, go ahead and type in import and then chart boost. There we go. Now go to the appdelegate.m file and you're going to go to application did become active. Here we go. Uh, now you're going to create an instance of chart boost. So, you're going to type in chart boost. And then do a little star, uh, type in cb, that's your instance variable, um, equals bracket chart boost, shared chart boost, and then a semicolon. Then you're going to type in cb.appid equals. And you're going to type in your 
uh, char boost app ID right here. And then next you're going to go CB dot app signature equals at and your chart boost app signature goes here and you will get both of those from your um, online chart boost portal when you set up your app um, let's see here then you want to start a user session just like you're doing with RevMob right here so we can type in bracket CB start session that will begin your session and then once your session is started you can oh wait on the other I sorry I said that wrong on the on RevMob we um, started the session up here at uh, did finish launching the options which you could probably do with this one too but I'm just doing it like they said to do it and then you're gonna show the um, show the interstitial right here so you're gonna go CB show interstitial and that will show their pop-up um, right at the beginning of the launch of the app the same way that RevMobs will show it using this line of code so in the same way that you want to um, show this I mean show the the chart boost full screen ad that's the line of code you used and you drop that anywhere you want it to pop up in your code uh, you make sure you import it like we did RevMob at the in the app delegate or in the .h file or the .m file for whichever class that you want to show the ad in and then once you have that done you will you will drop once it's imported you um, can show the interstitial here so or I mean with that line of code I believe that's it um, they do have oh I like to cache my ads so it doesn't have to check every single time you can once you download the um, once you download the um, the ad from chart boost you can cache it so that if they open the app again it, it won't have to download it it'll check its cache and see if it has it and if it does it'll show the one that you've already cached and in order to do that that's really quite simple um, you want to make sure that once you start the session you will um, let's see here I'll put it right here you will say bracket CB cache whoops I spelled that wrong see there we go cache interstitial that way that will save the interstitial for you and it will check to see if it's got one um, before it shows it which will load faster uh, if you have any questions you can refer to chart boosts site for installing their SDK you can also obtain their SDK from this site uh, let's see here I'll go back from the advanced one here and it will be help.chartboost.com forward slash documentation oops, slash iOS double check that documentation help yeah and it's showing up on my computer as HTTPS like that so you can type it that way if you want to um, and I believe that should be pretty much all you need to know uh, if you have any questions I am learning this myself or teaching myself how to program and I absolutely love it so if you have any questions I will help you with whatever I can um, or try to help you point you in the direction of where you might find the, an uh, the answer for your information. I will see real quick if this will run and pop up on the simulator without the app ID. I'm not sure if it will or not. Oh, it looks like I'm getting some warnings here. I don't think I started a session before I started using it, so... Um... Oh, it should have. 
notifications and become active. Oh, probably because I don't have my app ID in here, that's probably why. So anyway, that should do it for now. If you have any questions, let me know.